Welcome to NAB Show 2024. The preeminent event for the entire media and broadcast industry. Right here in Las Vegas. Ashley with InBroadcast, joining me is David of Brainstorm. Great to see you. Great to see you as well. Yes. So tell me, where does Brainstorm currently stand? What's your position right now in the media and broadcasting market? Well, we've been in the business for about 30 years now. And uh, so we've seen a lot of change during that time. Currently, uh, we're still very, very strong with virtual studios, applications, graphics, animations, motion graphic systems, um, and of course, we're here within an XR environment, so LED uh, walls uh, is very much the, the fashion these, uh, the, these days. Yeah. Sure. And what trends are you seeing as far as your technology in the media and broadcasting market, and how have you kind of adapted with that for the future? Well, virtual production is very much the, uh, the key phrase, um, and that's evolved out of uh, uh, green screen environments, as I say, and now into the uh, world of uh, LED walls. Yeah. So this is very much what we're doing, um, and this is what we're showing here, really, uh, and that is the, the demand. There's so many different uh, production companies, TV stations, of course, are using um, LED walls for all sorts of purposes, and we're the ones who are actually providing this, both the, uh, the product, our Infinity Set, which is our virtual studio, um, uh, and AR graphics uh, systems, the Aston and so on, within this virtual studio environment, or virtual production world. So, to say. so that's part of my next question, actually, is what, is what are you showcasing here currently at an AB? What are you highlighting? Right. Well, here we are introducing our version of our Suite 6, which is the latest uh, software application, and they stretch across all the products which we have. Our Infinity Set, which is our flagship product, our Aston, which is our motion graphics, augmented reality systems, um, Edison, which is uh, another product uh, aimed at a presentation market, uh, education, and such like. Um, so we're, we're showing a variety of, uh, of, of aspects. To, uh, we have our green screen, which is a virtual studio application, and that's tied in with what we call teletransporter. So we're standing here in front of a transparent touch screen um, where we're, we're presenting election projects here, um, and we can have reporters uh, being teletransported, as we call it, from New York. So we have uh, a presenter who appears to be in New York, and they're, they they're, then are teletransported into the studio here as we talk about the American election. So, yeah. Yeah, no, I love that. It's always so fun coming over here. Can you tell me a little bit more about your latest developments and who you might be targeting with your prospective use cases? Yes, what we're doing here, uh, once again, the clients, we're led by client demand, okay? And what they're looking for is um, eye-catching, uh, ways in which to present, whether it's news or sports, entertainments and such like. So what we're doing here is um, not only supplying and, and showing a whole variety of different features and capabilities, as I mentioned, from virtual studio to extended reality sets, um, uh, augmented reality content and so on, which helps to tell a better story in a more engaging way and very visual at the same time. So that's the sort of thing we're doing here at the show. We're also using robotic cameras. Um, we can use all sorts of different types of cameras. We're agnostic in terms of the third-party applications we use here. I love it over here. So much fun. For those that want to know more, please check out their website. Thank you so much for speaking with us today. Thank you. Thank you.